hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to do a short video about Camp Verde. Now Camp Verde is one of the five um, most significant Verde Valley towns. You have Camp Verde, Cottonwood, Clarkdale, Cornville, and Rimrock. Now, I do sell real estate in Camp Verde. It's one of my primary areas. Uh, I've never lived in Camp Verde, but I can tell you a little bit about it because I am there quite often. Um, if you are headed to Camp Verde from Phoenix, it's about an hour and a half drive. You would head north on Interstate 17 and get off at the 260. Now, the 260, if you would veer to the west, you would have a few areas that are still Camp Verde, and then if you would be rear to the east or the right, um, that's where most of the town of Camp Verde is gonna be. Now, it's a big geographic area. It's about 43 square miles, so part of the biggest geographical town in Verde Valley. Now, it's part of Yavapai County, which is actually the biggest geographical county in Arizona. Certainly not the most populous, but geography, it's a very large county. Um, elevation, is about 3146 above sea level. So you have a very temperate climate, slightly lower than Cottonwood and um, Sedona, but you're still going to have mild uh, winters where your low could get into the low 30s in January and your high could get over 100 in uh, the peak of the summer, but it's not blistering hot like it's going to be in Phoenix, that's for sure. Um, it is the home of the Cowboys. The mascot of Camp Verde High School is the Cowboys. The median age is 44 years old, so you have a younger population in Camp Verde than you do in other parts of Verde Valley. It's certainly much younger than Sedona. It is a very rural area, but not horribly rural because you do have a Bashes, which is a main um, grocery store, and you have a Northern Arizona Health facility. It's actually very big. They say it's an urgent care, but it's one of the bigger medical facilities. In fact, I went to the urgent care in Sedona once and they sent me to the Camp, um, Camp Verde urgent care. They said they wouldn't treat me there and go to the Camp Verde, which was really ticked me off at the time. But hey, it shows you there is a facility in Camp Verde. They have a very nice downtown district. It is very rural. If you want to buy horse property, this would be a good place to go because you do see a lot of homes on acreage, a lot of homes that allow um, chickens, livestock, and that kind of thing if you're looking for like a farming home. Um, median home price from my slightly out of date source, which is maybe six months old, but it's showing it at 362000 So I think that may be six month old statistic. It's probably around 400000 right now. Of course, the that changes all the time right now. It's April 2022. So if you're interested in home prices, you want to give me a call or a text because um, I could give you something a little more out of date and up to date. And I could email you a list of homes for sale in that area if you would be interested. So the cost of living index is 108. So to put that in perspective, the cost of living index nationally is 100 and 108 is just slightly above the national average. So a reasonable place for you to live. Um, then you put that in perspective, Sedona, the cost of living index is 142. So it's much cheaper to live in Camp Verde or actually any of the Verde Valley towns than it is in Sedona, but yet you're close. You can get to Sedona from Camp Verde in maybe 45 minutes. You can get to Flagstaff from Camp Verde in about an hour, maybe a little more. Of course, if you want to go all the way up to Lake Powell, Grand Canyon, it's not that far. Or if you want to go back down to Phoenix, maybe an hour, hour and a half. So a nice central geographic area. Of course, if you get off in the Camp Verde and you go east and you pass um, the Camp Verde town. You'll eventually go through to the 87, which will put you towards uh, Strawberry Pine Pace in kind of a nice wooded community. Um, so nice central area where you can get to things to do very quickly. And of course, there's a lot to do in Camp Verde. The Verde River runs through it. So there are all sorts of river type activities, hiking and that kind of stuff. Um, there is the Camp Verde Visitor Center and Historical Museum. Um, and there's a kind of a diverse home base. So let me tell you about the homes in Camp Verde. You'll have homes on acreage, which is nice. Homes that have animals, horses, that kind of thing. You'll have very suburban looking neighborhoods where you'll have homes that were more recently built. Um, you will have some homes. It's quite interesting that it looks like you're right across from a warehouse or an industrial area, which some people don't like because, you know, there's my view. It's an industrial uh, shop. But yet if you work in one of those areas, that could be quite nice. Um, things to work out 
to look out for though is you will have some homes that are in a flood zone. So be very careful if you don't mind a flood zone. The issue of course is flood insurance. And then some homes are so rural that they're on a well. So if you don't want a well, I personally don't like wells because you know things could go wrong. But then if you're way rural and you like that, it might not be an issue for you. So some things to know or some things to do there is a casino in camp verde i think it's the cliff castle casino i'm not a big casino person so i couldn't tell you if that's the exact name of it but there is a big casino there if you like to gamble or sometimes there's shows and concerts there so that might be something fun for you to do there's a very nice historical district um, again fort verde was um, initially is where the town was kind of founded around was Fort Verde. Uh, there's a lot of festivals in Camp Verde though. I'm so surprised how many cool festivals there are. First of all, there's the Pecan and Wine Festival. That usually happens in March. So I just missed that. Um, and then again, it has a lot of these festivals were closed down because of the COVID and they're coming back this year. So the, Pan the Pecan and Wine Festival, Fort Verde Days, I think that happens in October. Uh, there is a Verde Valley Farmer's Market that happens quite often. Um, there's a Victorian Christmas that they do sometimes. There is Corn Fest. <laughs> That's always a source of jokes, Corn Fest. But Corn Fest is in July. I might go to it this year, but I've missed it in the past, mostly because it was closed down for uh, COVID. There's a big Halloween festival and trunk show in October. And in uh, the December colder months, there is a Christmas bazaar and a parade of lights. So lots of fun things to do in Camp Verde, a very rural town, if that's what you're looking for, but in the heart of Verde Valley. Um, lots of things to do, nice central location, good climate, decent cost of living. If you'd like to learn more about Camp Verde or if you're interested in buying a home, certainly give me a call, a text, to email, and I could send you a list of homes for sale in Camp Verde or any of the other Verde Valley towns. Uh, again, I sell real estate here in Northern Arizona where I am primarily focused on Verde Valley and Sedona because that's where I live. I could also show you homes in Flagstaff, Prescott, Prescott Valley, and even Phoenix. Although Phoenix, if you're interested, I would probably refer it to one of my very qualified colleagues that live down there. But I could send you a list of homes if that's all you're, you're just curious and want to for comparison's sake. Uh, my name's Dawn Dickinson, my channel Living in Northern Arizona, where I post topics that relate to Arizona living every single week. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I hope to see you back here next week where I post a brand new video about a Northern Arizona topic.